Did you guys have any questions? If so, ask them. Yeah, go for it, Zach. You can unmute and talk. Yeah. Um, so uh, the characters that I've been working on, uh, the four that I basically showed up to uh, class with, with previews and stuff, um, or the, the thumbnails, they weren't the ones that I was intending on uh, submitting to Motiga when I was doing the internship uh, application and stuff. Should I be focusing on that character that I was uh, thinking on because I think they they have a place like in the game as it stands now, uh, or should I try to focus on the characters and develop them outside of just for my personal work, and then uh, I guess do the uh, the rest of the uh, character for them kind of on my own free time. Because I feel like it probably might make more sense to do the Motiga stuff with you because you'll be able to give me a higher level of feedback and critique and stuff, and I'll be able to... Yeah, that's fine. That. You can just do that. Okay, dope. Uh, so then normally, I'll normally I would suggest people to just stay on the original path. But, you know, every circumstance is a little different. And so, uh, absolutely, you can stick to kind of like the things you want to try to submit. Okay. Uh, yeah. And that's only one character so far. So I guess, would you suggest... Uh, yeah, you need more than just one. So you, you're going to have to come up with something. Something. Okay. Yeah. I could, I could probably adapt... Uh, I guess two other other characters, so it shouldn't be like that huge a change. So I guess I would just basically do the same three characters that you were talking about, just or I guess the same three character slots, just switch out the characters. Uh, so then I guess I'll just try to have those ready for you uh, next class. Then please do. All right. Sorry, I just wanted to run that by you. Yeah, man. Now there was a. I don't know if I'm logged in. There you go. Demon art has not changed. Over sexualized stuff of styles of all sorts of backgrounds. How's Ross doing on Demon Art? Let's find out. Oh, he's a core member, huh? <laughs> He's splooged on his demon art. Smart. That's how Sakiba Chan got her fame. I probably need to come back on here. Oh, I'm a core member too. I don't remember being core. Oh, did I do something? It looks like people did vote for this. I forgot that I did this poll it was a long time ago. I need to come back and re-establish my DB nerd. I think that's the real thing we need to do. But I had favorites. Now, I, I remember having this one artist who did these really amazing furry designs. Maybe not some some not so safe for work stuff here. So I apologize if you guys get offended easily. But sorry, not sorry. Yeah, because I, if you look too, it's funny. If you look at some of these images, especially like this one, you can kind of see where I got my like dark fantasy aesthetic from. Because I used to look at a lot of black and white photos of just naked people all the time. And I used to use that specifically as reference. I'm pretty sure I favorited some of this stuff. What the? Do you mean I froze? Too much sexy. Yeah, it's just froze. Oh, there you go. Why did I favorite my own work? I did not mean to do that. Hmm. I'm trying to think where I could find this stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot about these images. These are so good. 
Dude, I should come back. It's been a while. I don't remember it being too long ago. Because I stopped my DeviantArt a long time ago. I think it was first when I saw CG Hub. And then I was like, I don't really need DeviantArt. Then I stopped. But, and I remember liking a lot of this one artist's stuff. And I think it's relevant now. Yeah, see this photo sings to me still. I should come back to DeviantArt and look at some of these old references. I remember I told you guys I had like a lot of reference before Pinterest and even before DeviantArt. I had one like folder on one of my hard drives that had like tens of thousands of images of just reference images that I collected over the years. Yeah, what the hell, DeviantArt? I met the founder of the DeviantArt too. Really nice guy. Yeah, this is not. This is not taking, this is not happening fast enough. Yeah, I don't remember going this far back. We'll, we'll wait for this page to load, and if it's not on this page, then I'm just going to call it quits. I'm ranked number two or second. How do I, how do you find that out? What? Tarek, explain. Walk me through that. How do I know? No way that's true. Oh, what? Page unresponsive? All right. Yeah, you know, you can uh, search uh, artists by uh, liking, by likes. Yeah. Oh, so, you just go search artists? Yeah, search artists, and uh, there is a way to uh, refine uh, search artists. Likes. Just click likes descending. Exactly. Oh, you, well, yeah, second one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who, who likes ascending? That's. It's uh, the one called Nivan Chantara. That's uh, rated the uh, first. And I'm following them. <laughs> So wait, they they have 131,000 likes. Oh yeah, of course they did. So their their strategy is very much like my strategy, which is just overwhelm them. Oh, yeah, put uh, a lot. A lot of artwork, yeah. Yep. Oh wait, wait a minute, 131,000, huh? Oh damn, he got 30 30,000 more than me. Okay, <laughs> all right, okay. I see you. <laughs> Challenge accepted. It's all, man. It's all. Oh, yeah, look. And then Bayward, who, to be honest, deserves it the second place <laughs> just because of the quality of his work. Uh, it's like right behind me. Uh oh. Okay. I didn't even know that was a thing. So, yeah, he's like a few hundred away from me. What? All right. Okay. I see you, Bayward. Trying to creep up on me. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's like only a hundred away. Uh oh. He's going to catch Already. me for sure. Then who's. There uh, are four. Uh, there may be more color, more appealing to the eye uh, somehow. Yeah, know. but um, oh, Nivan, he, he, he definitely outbeat me just by the amount of work, too. Mm. But I know he uh, watched some of my gum roads. I'm positive he did. Oh. Because yeah. some of these mech heads, I was one of the first people to do these. I had a whole tutorial. And after I did that tutorial, all of a sudden, hundreds of people did them. I uh, like a skull uh, makers. Or... Yeah, we'll see. All right, I see what's up. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. That's cool. That's really fascinating. I'm I'm surprised by that. But now that I know that I'm like not that far away from getting first or losing second, in third, in fourth. <laughs> Because even this this person, yeah, the, all, all the other people are only a thousand to a hundred points away from surpassing me. But Nivan is like he is. Oh, look, you can look right here. You don't have to look at the yeah hundred uh, thirty one thousand. And see, he has more followers too. So, oh, yeah. but see, here's the thing: Bayward has more followers. Hmm. So does Johans. So all these guys have more followers. So that just means people just like my work better overall. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can, uh, we can trade likes, you know, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, followers yeah. descending. Like, give you a like, give me a like, then uh, I talk to another. Yeah, guy. So, yeah, so if we do people who follow, we're like less. So these people are all there. I'm not even. So I'm wait. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm right after Jacob. Dang, Jacob. This ain't true. There's, there's a. Uh, I know, I know a few artists who have more followers than I do on here. I don't understand why I'm a. I believe. Um. um yeah, this is this is not accurate. Hold on. Oops. Because I believe Mache has more followers than I do. Yeah, see? 31,000. So there's some conspiracy going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> check it out. Followers descending. He should he should be a right after. So this is, this is suspect. <laughs> I wonder if it has to do with activity, maybe? <clears throat> like there, there's another variable to the algorithm. Yeah, maybe. Life. Like, is this person active as well as yeah? Because because I know a few people who have more. Like yeah, Sparth too. He 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 should be really close. Or oh, there, there he is. Okay, so maybe it's like activity. I don't know. Like, has this person been active in the last week? I definitely if you're more active uh, there's gonna be more or uh, maybe you've been there uh, for uh, more time i don't know and it's not a following thing because i follow mache too i'm trying to think of unsubscribe yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no there, there's there's got to be another variable I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask leo how that works because it's fishy business because yeah mache definitely has thirty one thousand followers See, the likes make sense because he's not um, close to where I'm at. But then, but I know he has more followers. I know a few other artists that have more followers that I didn't see above me. So that's curious. <laughs> hmm. Which makes me question the likes now. But whatever. I'm going <laughs> to gonna go for that first place. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to do it with these dog drawings. You'll see. <laughs> People will be like, this is a, a new, new oh. dog heads. Go from mech heads to dog heads, <laughs> or maybe a, yeah, a mecha dog head. Hmm. <laughs> you know, that's too much coolness. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. I didn't know that. That's cool. But I'm like now questioning it. Is it because I'm pro? No, I think Mache is a pro too, like a uh, art station pro. Like mm, maybe they yeah. give priority to those who are pro. Maybe not. Hold on, let's find out. No, oh, actually, he's pro. He's a pro account, right? Yeah, I guess so. I'm really fascinated by this. <laughs> oh, look, I don't think he is pro. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can tell if they have a pro account, right? It's like right next to their yeah. their name. Not, not every yeah, see? Adon has a pro right there. Hmm. So Mache doesn't. So maybe that's what has... So if you pay for their service, they, they'll give you some priority. Yeah. Which, I don't know if I'm, a, I'm in favor for that. If that's true. Because hmm. it's like a pay-to-win type of model. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I understand. I, I got... I paid for it for the perks of like the... What was the perks of the... The ones that I really like. The website building the um, oh there was another one i forget but like but none of them were like to amplify my my viewership but now i'm like i'm really suspect <laughs> it should be a merit-based system meaning that people generally have more followers than me regardless of pro or not they should be ahead of the curve because if that's true there's gonna be some backlash man so people are gonna flip out yeah yeah definitely yeah, I, I think, and I'm, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt because I know Leo's not that type of person. Um, but, you know, if they're trying to give more incentive to people to pay for their service, I get that too. But there's better ways. If, yeah. 
uh, I'm making a, an accusation that, that I don't know if it's true. I'm just basing it off of just my minimal research I just did right now in front of y'all. But I'll ask him personally. I'll say, you know, I'll, I noticed this thing. Is this true? If it is, you might want to reconsider how the algorithm works. Even if it puts me to 15th place, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking a big risk, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd rather be in a system where I fairly be seconds, not because I paid. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, it might not be true at all. Maybe there's like another variable like activity, like I was saying, you know? Yeah. Like if the person's not active, um, it doesn't make sense to kind of put them up against people who are active. Like, because then you're punishing people who are active and they're like, they have uh, an opportunity to be noticed. <clears throat> yeah, that's totally uh, the, the exact opposite that what should be done. Do you know what though? Let me see what's up. This and now I'm really curious. <laughs> Let's do this again. Watch. Likes descending. Mm -hmm. So pro, 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 pro. Seems like I'm on to something. And followers, I bet you it's the same thing. Pro, 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 pro. Hmm. Curious. So what are terms of service? Yeah, maybe. That's what I was thinking. So apparently it might be. Um, I wonder where I can read the pro perks. Because if it's in there, then partnership pro partner perks. Oh. Uh, no. Wait a minute. Awesome perks from our partners. is offering pro members the first 90. Oh, damn it. I was like, what? I've been paying for that. I want to pay for it if I don't. <laughs> this is Russian dossier, dude. It's here. <laughs> Footage of Trump and the prostitutes. It's all here. All right. Yeah. See, I, I, I think I'm right. I think if you're pro, then you have advantage over the search results. Yeah. And I, I, I will say right now, I disapprove of that. <laughs> like, I think the perks that made sense were, were, were nice. Like there were, like I said, the website building, um, like yeah, giving you access to certain tools and stuff like that, their website, the being able to organize like your portfolio on your station, these types of things make sense. Yeah. Cause then everybody can just post and it won't be able to organize it, but that's fine. You know, yeah. you can just have one just large gallery. There's, there's no punishment. It's just disorganized and it's not as pretty looking if you can organize it. But if you're paying and it's like, well, we're also putting you, uh, we're going to give you priority to other people when people share their work. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah. All right. It's art station day today too. So maybe I'll bring it up to him tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want him to be like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna just let him know that like I think like I get it like here's how I feel about it like he's a business right and I get it like you want to try to to like art station doesn't make any money right outside of just uh, ad re revenue and pro subscription and and if you think well ad revenue right well even though they're a pretty popular website and becoming more and more popular it's never yeah. going to be as big as something like YouTube or ad revenue or Google where ad revenue will actually have like a really strong bearing on how much money they make as a company because it's our, our, our industry is a niche of a niche. Yeah. It's not, you know, as many people. Know, of course. Like even DeviantArt struggles with ad rev and they are like a larger artistic platform, like probably one of the largest, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because you, well, pretty much on DeviantArt, there, there is a, the, the best and the worst. So, uh, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It's like everything. So you, you have that that audience, right? You have a lot of people coming in there, but the ad revenue still, even at that point, isn't enough to warrant the, the amount of 
power that the website has. Mm-hmm. And so ArtStation has that same problem. That's what happened to CG Hub. CG Hub had no strategy on monetization. So they were truly screwed. You know? Yeah. Hold on, my dog is barking. I'm not sure what's going on. Let me go. No. Because our friends... Grab your shotgun. <laughs> our friend's daughter stayed a night, so maybe they won't come in to pick her up. Hold on. Let me go. Check. Give me one second. I'm back. All right. But uh, anyway, so their business, they this is probably like one of the many ways that they make money, you know? Yeah. But, um, but like in my experience, you have to do a lot in your power to avoid this type of controversy. And one of the best ways is to always try to stick on an ethical, moral high ground. So, so for instance, in this situation, um, even if they can, like, it's one of those things where people aren't going, they're just not going to be cool with it. I don't think uh, I could be wrong. Maybe people are like, yeah, that's fine. I get it. But I mean, people were flipping out a little bit when they found out they were going to switch the model, the algorithm to um, be that, one person's vote is more meaningful than another's. Did you hear yeah. about that? Yeah. Oh no. For so real. Like, so like if you have more likes like me, you're, you're, then you yeah, have more power. Seriously. Yeah. Like I, I can, like if I like your work then it has more real estate than uh, someone who has only a few hundred likes or something like that. And the logic behind it again, it makes sense. Yeah, it does. Somehow. Because it's like saying, well, here's what the, here's the logic. It's saying that, you know, if we just let everybody have equal vote, then you're going to have people who just like the super over-sexualized female <laughs> boob characters. That's going to just naturally be popular No, with all things being equal. So if we give more power to people who are, um, uh, what you call it, people who are, you know, no, like actually respected and liked amongst the community and followed and all that stuff, right? Yeah, uh, and then so the types of things that they like because let, let's say I do draw sexy booby lady characters, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to also like other sexy booby lady characters. I might like something that's like super obscure. So they're banking off the idea that us artists who are a little bit on the higher echelon are going to be a little bit more. Um, they're we're going to like a variety of work and maybe work that people wouldn't even normally would have found, which I understand that uh, logic. But then the con- the criticism, which I also agree with, which is that, well, then what prevents companies from, or people like controlling that? Like, so let's say I made a game hmm. and, and I like my own stuff, you know what I mean? And I yeah. get all my friends to like my own stuff. And then just, we all circle jerk and then get my artwork that would have probably just naturally just, not to say that would have fallen on the wayside, but it just probably wouldn't have gotten as much attention gets more attention just because i just ask people to to like it yeah it, it's, a, it's a double-edged blade like uh yeah i i heard that a friend is a uh, is doing a role-playing game like a paper tabletop role-playing game and one of his um illustrator for this game actually was n- not known at all and just one time uh george r martin like uh linked uh, on facebook this illustrator and ever since he, he has like plenty of job and is well recognized so it's double-edged blade like if you there is some somebody really uh, respected and well-known likes uh, uh, a totally uh, unknown person it, it can give him a chance too so yeah uh, and so in that circumstance it's 
fine because that person got popular not because of some sort of like obscure Mm -hmm. voting system it's because what did you say george rr martin right yeah yeah. like george rr martin's george rr martin he shared his (laughs) stuff and millions of people just saw it and were like oh yeah this person is good it's not that george rr martin's vote counts more because of like some sort of system his vote counts more because he made game of thrones and he has a lot of fans yeah it, that's a merit-based system that's that's fair yeah. yeah he liked it he thinks that person deserves more recognition and he did it he made that happen you know uh, yeah. it's very similar to whenever i share my students work uh, on my facebook it's the same same strat mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. what i'm saying is that this this the strategy the art station is employing um I, I think they they need to be careful that's all. Yeah. And Leo's a nice guy. He's a really good person. And I don't think he's doing any of this stuff maliciously. I think he's just trying to run his business, you know? Mm-hmm. And when you start making money, this, these types of choices become very challenging. It's like, do I make these advancements so I can make more money or do I just stay morally strong? So for instance, um, with me, like I have a lot of opportunities to really change kind of what roll a pencil is and what it can be. Uh, mm-hmm. And focus mostly on, uh, I focus mostly on the beneficent, the beneficial, beneficial aspects for my students, mm-hmm. and I think that's why I, I still hold some bearing in the educational industry. But but more importantly, I get a lot of love, right? Yeah. And and I think it's it's a very modest business strategy. I don't. Have, I used to have an office and all that cool stuff, but I got rid of all that because I just didn't want to have to. Uh, there was too much stuff to maintain, you know, and, uh, and it required me to work harder and make uh, a lot of decisions that I didn't like to do. Yeah. Because once you add one responsibility, you have more responsibilities and then more and more keep stacking. And then the next thing you know, uh, it's overwhelming and you have like a business and it's like, I, I, I never, I, you know, on paper, it sounds like you want to have your own business. The reality is like, I didn't really want to, you know, I just want to make stuff and teach <laughs> Make right? <cool> stuff. <laughs> yeah i don't really care so much for owning my own business yeah and you're, so you're pretty free already like uh i i mean uh, the the kind of job you're doing and the teaching it's it's well a bit of freedom like uh, yeah you don't have a boss telling you every day what you have to do yeah that's that's why i think people want to own their own business but they f- don't realize the parts that it takes a lot of work to maintain oh. that business and yeah. so that's the part I didn't like care for. And so uh, I understand these sentiments and I just, I just if realizing that I'm like, wait a minute, the followers doesn't make sense. And the likes don't make sense either. Actually, now that I think about it, cause I'm positive there's more people that have better like or more likes than I do. I'm positive. Hmm. Let's yeah. investigate. <laughs> uh, any other questions? Um, yeah. Yeah, for example, uh, should I upload um, for you, like on ArtStation, the, the thumbnails uh, that we are doing right here? Is this relevant or uh, somehow to, to put the, uh, that on ArtStation or maybe not good enough? I don't know. Wait, say that again? <laughs> um, should I upload the... Uh, for example, though the thumbnails uh, that I did for uh, this mentorship on ArtStation, or uh, it's not good enough to be uh, uh, relevant to be put on ArtStation. Like yeah, you can put it on ArtStation. Like, I think it's fine. You just got to finish the work alongside it, so that way there's a mm-hmm. there's an evolution. People can see where. Okay. <laughs> People can see where it <clears throat> originated and where it's going. All right. Yeah, to do seeing from start to finish. Okay. Yeah, I think as a collective, it works better. <laughs> Where the hell? I am positive. I liked something he did recently. I was trying to find his name, but I always have a hard time remembering. Oh, yeah, right here. <clears> that was Peter. What was I thinking? Jacob. Yeah, see, look at he, I, I feel like he should be one of the first or even second. Oh, Look at this that. is uh, my well, my most looked. Uh, well, that's my favorite artist in terms of style. I mean, 
<laughs> I mean, here's the thing. Like, he's not a pro, right? So he doesn't have the pro icon, right? <clears throat> but he's doing fine without it. So it's, it is, there's definitely... Yeah. It, it doesn't mean that the, if you don't have it, you have less access. Because once you get into the, the higher numbers, right? Yeah. It still is, like, hard to get high numbers. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that I feel like when people search, it's disingenuous to, to assume that I'm like the second most liked artist yeah, on our that. station. I don't think that's true. And now I know for a fact that it's not true. Yeah. You know, he still is, he still has a higher number. Yeah, you know, was, but uh, Piotr, uh... but P yeah, Peter would have been second hmm. easily, and I'm sure there's someone else that would have been third or fourth. Hmm. I, I I'm positive that I would still be up in the like, maybe like the top fifteen, right? Because yeah. 110,000 likes is still nothing to bat an <laughs> eye about, man. I'm still doing all right. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I don't like uh, according to this this search results, it should this isn't accurate. That's all. It, it should say pro. Oh, see, look. Hmm. I knew it. I was wrong. Ah, so turn okay. that off and then watch. Now we'll, we'll know the reality. Oh. Yes, here you go. So Ross apparently has more likes. Okay. And see, there's Peter, as I suspected. So he's third. So Ross deserves to be first. Why? Because there is more boobs or? <laughs> no, it's because these are, these are, it's the American Idol strategy. He has characters that everyone recognizes. Okay. And and boobs, sure. See now where do I sit? See now this is this is more accurate. One, two, three, four, five. See? So now I have I have to beat four other artists. I have to beat Ross. Okay. I see Ross. And he has the most followed too, I bet. Piotr Jablonski. But this this will now show Mache. Watch, I'll show you. See Ross is still number one, huh? Okay. All right, I see you, Ross. And Peter, of course. This just makes sense to me. Peter definitely being up there. And Ross yeah. definitely deserves it too. Ma Ross is always pumping out stuff. Let's see, now where do I live? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I'm in the top twenty most followed. Okay. <laughs> so you know how you solve this problem? Yep. Post a lot more work. I'm going <laughs> to post. This is what I'm going to do. So we have two more weeks in this class, right? Yep. Now, I don't think I'll be able to move up. Um, I'm going to write, I'm going to put this in writing. So that way I have. Because uh, I haven't been challenged yeah. in a while. So I was fifth in likes. And 19th in follows. And this is, the date is the day that uh, Stranger Things came out. Dope. Hmm. Right? Yep. So, um, what I want you guys to do, you should put this on your calendar. Check back a month later and see if these, these numbers are still true. So we'll, we'll check at the end of the class too, the, the final week of the class, we'll check again. Okay. Okay. So let's see if I can move up one rank. <laughs> I think I can. Nice one. You know, I, I, I did this in my class before because we were talking once and they're asking how do you get more followers and how do you get people to, to, to do that all stuff. And I said, um, you just got to be engaged in the communities, right? Mm -hmm. And I did that I, for like a whole, the whole month. Um, I just posted artwork like every oh. day. And it went from like 18,000 to like twenty. Uh, or 22,000 in that month. Hmm. And I showed them very clearly how to do it. And then they, once they saw that, they're like, oh, okay. And I told them because it just, it just takes a long time. You might think that's going to happen in a day or day two, like George R. R. Martin's going to tweet about you. <laughs> yeah. Don't count on that, man. Like that, that's, that's like, that's lottery ticket stuff. Yeah. You know, like a lot of things need to line up perfectly for that person to, to even find your artwork, you know? Hmm. Oh yeah, especially if you're like nobody. Um, but once they do, you know, be prepared for the the glory. So I'm going to.
do a few things to try to see if I can capitalize on bringing that number up. One is doing, doing obviously a lot more work every day. Another is painting uh, fan art. And I haven't done fan art in a long time. I used to do it all the time. Uh, fan art is a great way to bring up your reputation. Mm -hmm. It's the American Idol approach when people can see something that you've done and mm -hmm. see how it correlates to something else. They find a lot more, um, there's a lot more love uh, yeah. and easily found in your work when they see the correlation. So what kind of fan art are you going to do? I don't know. I, I haven't played a thing in a while. I'm not a fan of anything recently. <laughs> so, so do Dark Souls piece. <laughs> I would love yeah, to see Yeah, I haven't played Dark Souls in a while. So that wouldn't be, that would be disingenuous. I'm trying to think of, oh, you know what? I'm a, I'm a big fan of... Um, uh, what you call it, uh, the Marvel films and Ragnarok's about to come out. So there could be opportunity there. Um, like, I, I don't like Thor exactly, though. So we'll see how I feel after I watch that movie. Um, but what did I see recently? Like, I saw Mindhunters, but again, that's not something that I want to draw. Um, oh, yeah, there's there's like indie developing. Oh, yeah, Cuphead. Cuphead's still, so dope. Have you guys played that game? Nope. It's so good. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, Cuphead. That's a good I, one. I, yeah, I heard of it. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm gonna do some fan art on Cuphead. Yeah, that's more on the on the cartoony uh, side of it. Yeah, gonna do Cuphead, <laughs> and then go from there. <laughs> New challenge accepted. <laughs> on the right corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah i think uh i think i'll be able to move up one rank to get number one is gonna be tough because ross is like constantly posting stuff man so i'm gonna have to approach it like how peter does it as well as how ross does it which is post work that people can recognize which is the ross train approach and have a lot of fun to it and style uh and then the second approach which i'm going to apply which is just have artwork that's so fantastic hmm. Because that's how Peter approaches it, right? His work is just outstanding. That's why he has so much recognition. Yeah, it's just it's just insanely good, and so, that's um, probably, yeah, yeah and, and that's that's probably the one of the better approaches. <laughs> Not to say that Ross isn't any good. He's a good friend of mine. He's a really good artist. He, he his approach is just very simple, um, and it's an approach that I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know how he's going to feel uh, in the years coming. You know, he's still pretty young. Like if you will appreciate his own strategy, you know, because yeah. yeah. he seems like the kind of person I want to make his own thing. I know he just did like a Kickstarter and all that stuff. So we'll mm -hmm. see how that goes. Yeah, the the um, the style of Russ is very different, and maybe uh, when you see uh, the the, it's maybe too colorful to 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 be. Uh, very uh, as clear as a Piotr uh, composition, you know. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty good assertion, though. Look at this is I like Art Station because these three artists, Ross, Peter, Evan, even I Ilya, mm -hmm. like the top five artists have such wildly different styles. Yeah, which is really cool, you yeah. know. Um, like, Good yeah, thing. I mean, going all the way down, they all have relatively different styles. It's really great. Like, it's not just all like boobs, you know, <laughs> like there's some, but you get my point. Like they're all, yeah, like they're, I follow all of these people like, except for Greg. Well, now I'm following you too, Greg. No, yeah. don't give him more likes. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. My uh, power. Yeah, you're losing your your the sight of your objective. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna stop liking stuff for the no, sense kidding. of competition. I'm just going to de defeat them honestly. <laughs> fair and square. Uh, fair and square. Yeah, there's a lot of really good stuff in here. Yeah, Anthony Jones, where is he again? Yeah, the best. Yeah. Whoa, dude! What? Voidtech uses everything, man. He has not touched. There's a lot of software he hasn't touched. 
All right, anyway. Oh, well, nah, weird stuff. A oh, VR 360. That's smart. It's smart to do that with your. Um, oh, uh, wow. Wow. This is awesome. Yeah, it's smart that he put that in the thumbnail. That's clever. Yeah, he's gotten so good. I remember when he interviewed me a long, long time ago. He was good then, but like he's gotten so much better since then. Wow. Okay. So this is going to be your first uh, post on your... Uh... Not my ventures. <laughs> now, there's a few things people like to see is just like more finished works. Mm -hmm. I don't really have that um as my strats like i have some finished works in there but it's just not going to like if i want to see if i can do this effectively the thing is i have, to have good work and i have to do consistent <laughs> looks like scooby it does kind of look like scooby yeah, scooby dooby doo where are you you're fighting in some space now all right. Any any final questions? We've been talking about this art station for a little too long. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I think it's still fascinating. I'm sure you guys appreciated the criticism. Yeah. So there's no need for me to reach out to um, uh, Leo because he he does have an ounce. He just he does it kind of like in a very cheap, like it's like automatically shows the pro members first. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't give us any advantage um, if people um, don't, don't see those features. Yeah, if they change it. But I don't think there's no advantage of like an employer being, well, I better check who's um, the most followed. And I only want to see pros. I don't think they think that way. But anyway. Any other questions, friends? Hmm. People do like animals. I do too. Yeah. No? No questions? No, not for me. Uh, I, have, I have a question. Go for it. Uh, it's like, it's um, Sony specific and since you work in Sony, so how often did they have you, like for example, say if you were doing concept for characters, how often did they have you do like 3D work or do they have you do that at all? Uh, I didn't do any of that stuff for Sony specifically. So Because uh, at the time I was only painting. I didn't really know much 3D then either. Hmm. Okay, do, do you think it's like a requirement now since, you know, 3D has become more common? So the way you should think about the, that kind of question and the answer to that question is, is very simple. Um, you should always focus on quality of work. Okay. And so if quality of work involves the kind of stuff that you're doing to be in 3D, then do it in 3D. Oh, okay. So it's you not. Know what I mean? uh, yeah, I mean, some studios may like demand you to do 3D, and some studios could care less if it's done in 3D. The strategy is build your portfolio the way that you want to work, and okay. all that people, all that matters is that it's quality work. You understand? Okay. Yeah. Because if people um, focus a lot of their attention on, like what you were suggesting, it's just like, well, am I forced to do it? And like. No, you're, you're focusing on the the wrong aspects of the of what it takes to get work in this industry. You 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 want to focus in on the quality and what you want to do. So if you want to do 3D, then by all means do 3D. If you want to photo bash, by all means do photo bashing. I I prefer um, painting, so that's why I do mostly paintings. Um, you know. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I was just asking because, um, I don't know, I watched a lot of those uh, interviews on YouTube, specifically like, let's say Level Up or uh -huh. other, other interviews. And yeah, they, they 
heavily emphasize the importance of 3D nowadays since you know technology is getting better. Uh, and yeah, and VR is becoming a thing now. So I'm like, oh man, maybe I'm gonna have to learn that later too. So yeah, I think you should try to learn as many tools uh, of the trade, but I wouldn't be afraid that there's too many things to learn. Just pick one and become really good at it. Um, and move on to the next one and be good at that, you know? Hmm. Um, because if you focus, again, if you focus your your uh, ideas around just like tools, tools are always changing, man, you know? And they're only going to get better or easier to use every single iteration. You, you yeah. hear what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. So being s- stuck on that is, is not smart strats. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because like, let's say you're like really caught up on ZBrush and then a new software comes out that's, that everyone realizes is way better than ZBrush and ZBrush goes out of business. And then what are you going to do? But um, if you focus your strategies on, well, I'm going to practice ZBrush, but most more importantly, I'm going to practice on fundamental designs, principles, stuff that I can transcend beyond my tool. Hmm. You know? Uh, yeah then cool. you'll, 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 you'll be in a better place because when the tools change, which they will almost always inevitably do, you'll be prepared for it. Huh. So that's why I always say focus on fundamental stuff as you're learning tools. Like what is the principle? What's the idea? Why, why are you using this tool in the first place? And what can you do to take that and uh, utilize that in your everyday workflow and abilities. Like I could make, I could have made all this in 3D, but chose not to because it's faster. You know. Yeah. But it wouldn't hurt to do it in 3D. All right, I'm gonna stop it here. Scooby from S- Scooby in space. <laughs> <laughs> Um, thanks again, guys, for all your good works. I appreciate y'all. Have a good one. Have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Later, y'all. Later. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to watch more in the future. If you like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you like this content, you can go to my website, robotpencil.net, where you can find mentorships, tutorials, and a Patreon to get more exclusive content. Thanks again. And I'll see you guys in my next videos.